I usually find that people give up, probably at the moment they're about to make a breakthrough. But it's like when you're running, you should accelerate when everybody else is feeling tired, because that's the moment you'll win. I started off with an aim. In the case of the vacuum cleaner, it was to make a vacuum cleaner that didn't lose suction. So it became an obsession. I had to get there and to stop short and only do a thousand or two thousand prototypes, the product would not have been as good. And I think in engineering, you have to experiment and you have to accept failure. The important thing is how you overcome it. People think that businessmen have to run businesses or salesmen or accountants or lawyers. And I always think an engineer is the best person to run a business. Our CEO is an engineer, I'm an engineer, my son's an engineer, human resources director is an engineer, quite a lot of the key people are engineers. And I think in engineering, it's an analytical, creative process. We pick on certain technologies, it might be motors, it might be audio, it might be airflow, it could be anything. I had to do something that's better, much better than the existing. So we make motors for vacuum cleaners that are now 200 watts compared with 2000 watts, which was the norm of just a few years ago. You can create something which drastically changes the whole landscape and reduces the power consumption, material consumption by a logarithmic order. And that's what young engineers and young scientists should be doing. The thing about young people is they're unencumbered. They haven't had lots of experience. So they approach a problem very differently and they have a, I don't want to be told that um, plastic isn't very strong or something, or you can't make air go in several different directions at once, or water go uphill or whatever it is. They don't accept that. They want to find out for themselves. The trouble with being experienced is your experience gets in the way. You know what works and what doesn't. The world is so dynamic, changing so fast for all sorts of political and other reasons. Today's solutions won't work tomorrow. So I think it's a question of having that mindset when you're old like me, but then having young people who are really pushing things forward. <laughs>